The Chemistry Roadshow is one of the premier outreach programs of the Chemistry Department as well as the College of Science. Nobody has to take a test at the end. They get to enjoy it, they get to have fun, they get to learn the science, um, and just focus on the enjoyment aspect of it. One of the really great things about the Roadshow is we get to take uh, the science as well as Texas A&M to a lot of places that are too far away that they wouldn't maybe come here themselves, but they get to experience a little taste of Aggie Land right at home where they're at. Most of the venues we go to, we usually have maybe between 100 and 200 students, so we impact an awful lot of people throughout the year, but each individual event is small enough that the kids, they can feel the explosions happen. They can see the colors change. Because of the generosity of the chemistry department, the College of Science, as well as our sponsors, it doesn't cost uh, the hosting institutions anything, that, that, that we come out uh, and the cost is covered. The chemistry Roadshow was started about 30 years ago, primarily by Dr. John Hogg. Dr. Hogg passed away about six or seven years ago now, and I took over from him at that time. He was a, he was a friend of mine, and I just appreciated the work that he was doing, and I think he'd be happy with the fact that we're still going to schools, that we're sort of expanding the numbers and the, the distances, but it's still that, that program that goes out to schools, presents it to kids, uh, gets them excited about science. Um, I think that's something he'd be happy about. One of the advantages that I have in doing this presentation is I'm willing to make an idiot of myself. I take the science very seriously. I don't take myself very seriously, though. We want to make sure that the science is the center of the show, that the science is really what the kids are getting out of it. But at the end of the day, I want them to be the, I want it to be the science that they remember, not necessarily me. Although it is fun when they remember me and say hi at places and things too. One of the talents I hope that I bring to the presentation is, I'm pretty good at explaining the science at a level just a little bit above where the students are at. So hopefully it stretches them a little bit, forces them to ask some, some deeper questions, gives them enough information so that later on they're, they're still interested. They can go to the library, they can go to their teacher, they can find good resources on the internet, books, other things to, to dig deeper and find more information later. But again, not just telling them things that they already should know. One of the fun things for me in doing this so often is I kind of know when the exciting moments are going to happen. I kind of know what's coming, so I can sort of be ready for it, um, and I can set up the presentation so it facilitates the oohs and the ahs. As much as I enjoy the show, I really hope that in the end it's not about me. But just like Dr. Hogg, I kind of hope this goes on after me, that this is something we can kind of build a legacy that will grow, will expand, that this can continue to be something, not just for this generation, but you know, for these kids' kids and these kids' grandkids, uh, that this will be something that, that A&M is still contributing to the community.